move. Got him, felt his pressure on his back, drop step, had him leaning a little bit and put it down on him. I like that. It's a good matchup today. Something we're going to be keeping our eyes on. Aduro versus Washington on either end of the floor. Both very athletic big men. Sherfield, left wing three. That's good. And the Wolf pass. Offensive rebound for George Mason. It's their first offensive board of the day, but the air ball gets the ball in the hands of the Wolfpack again, up by four. Sherfield, I think he kind of thought of there. He went to kind of peek in there and, and take a swipe at the post, but then kind of closed out to the wrong spot, and Cambridge missed a, a flat-footed jump shot. Fourth, fourth turnover of the day there for George Mason as Blackshear gets back to work. George Mason playing man-to-man -man defense, Sherfield. Driving in strong on Schwartz and a nice finish. Brett, because when you stop one or find a way to stop one, it just seems like there's another leak that's coming from a different crack and somebody else is having their turn. So um, it's a tough prep for, for other opposing teams. Finish, he can shoot. Um, he really plays at his own pace. It doesn't look like he gets sped up too much. And that's what you see with a lot of guards. Message is short and sweet, just working on that ball screen right well, now. Coach Alford is making it very clear that he wants Henry to set a ball screen and get Sherfield off of that to create a mismatch, switching here on Henry, and that's exactly what he wanted to do. And Baker sitting for quite a while for Nevada, but they're going to have fresh legs in this second half of action as they try to build on this five-point lead. Well, they're going to need both of those guys. You know, Washington brings a different element to the team with more threes. And, you know, once again, we talk about versatility. We talk about, you know, George Mason being able to do different things, but you know, he needs to attack that offensive uh, glass, but then also get into the rim, putting his head down and, and getting some uh, high percentage shots at the rim. That's where he's really, really good. Schwartz has played a team high 21 minutes, but as you mentioned, off to a tough start today, two of nine. Change body blows to start this second half. Starting this team, once again, is going to ride or die with him. You know, he's the kind of the, the, start, the straw that stirs his. On the sideline, his team had a momentary two point lead back in the early stages of this game. Got it close. Life a little bit more difficult. Um, they're just always all over the place. There's always active hands. You can see them at each possession. Hands are up. Hands are outside of their bodies. They're just always active. And that's tough from an offensive perspective. Sherfield stepping inside the arc along 22. So they've come out and hit four big threes here in this second half. Sherfield driving inside and continuing. What? To be a little bit more aggressive defending that ball screen. Get the ball out of his hands a little bit earlier. That big is kind of a lips hat on right there to get another possession in the offensive end. Nevada's going to have just four seconds to get this ball across the line, and Sherfield will with ease. Now he tries to work his way inside. Hartwell guarding him closely, and there's just no answer today. Give him tw nine team fouls for the Wolfpack, ten now for the Patriots here in the second half as Sherfield gets that. Second one is up and in now. Open flat footed jumper. Sherfield with the steal. Now stops and pops the three himself. Give him a new career.